Victoria from Super Geeked. Our channel celebrates everything that we get super geeked about, but also our friends, our family, and you. So one of the things you'll see consistently on our channel is about reselling. Both my best friend Gail and I are full-time resellers on the Poshmark app. We also dabble in eBay. And oftentimes you'll find videos on our channel about us sourcing at retail stores, at thrift stores, at buy sell trade stores to find inventory to sell in our Poshmark closets and on our eBay stores. And today I have something to admit to all of you. And that is, I've accumulated a death pile. How did that happen? I thought I would probably be the last person this would happen to, but it did. I guess the excitement of sourcing and finding great deals and things to sell in my closet and store, I got lost and a lot of items didn't get listed as soon as they got home. That's a big thing I'm going to change in 2020. It's on my list of to do's. I've created a bunch of awesome spreadsheets for the new year, but until I can get started on new inventory and to kick the year off, I've got to kick this death pile. It's got to go away because you guys, it's bad. So in case you don't know what a death pile is, it is a common term in the reseller community, not just for Poshmark sellers, but for eBay sellers, Mercari sellers, Etsy sellers. Oftentimes we're so busy going out and sourcing and getting those deals that we don't have enough time in the day to get those items listed. And what are those items? Those items are money. Those are sales that are just sitting in our house or our office or our warehouse waiting to be listed so that we can make money off these items. I mean, that's why we're out there sourcing in the first place. So I went and counted my death pile the other day because I'm prepping for 2020 and my goals for 2020 and my business. And what did I realize? I have over a hundred items in my death pile. Yep. You heard me right. Over a hundred items. One of the reasons I wanted to go and count my death pile, besides the fact that it was overwhelming my office, was that there was a recent collab on YouTube between Amber Resells and Becky Parks. So what they did was they're both part-time resellers, but they made a goal to list 100 items in two weeks. And it wasn't a contest, it was just about trying to motivate each other to get these items listed. So I decided I'm gonna do something kind of similar. I am full-time, so I don't have any other obligations. The only thing I have going on in the next week or so is that my kids will be home some of the days because they're out of school. So in saying that, I have allotted enough time that I feel like in the next week that I can get 100 items listed in my Poshmark closet. Now this is gonna be a hard task and I've had to set out how many items per day is gonna be my goal. And today is December 26th, so it's the day after Christmas. And my goal today, since my children are home, are to try to list 10 items. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a start. And I've also taken the time out to make this video and to record my inventory, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute of what's in my death pile. So tomorrow, my husband will be at the fire station for 24 hours. My kids will be at a holiday camp and I will have my office and the house to myself to list and I'm gonna push that goal even further tomorrow and hope to get at least 20 to 25 items listed. If I get 20 items listed tomorrow and 10 items today, that already knocks out 30 items of this death pile and will put me in a good position to start next week. The last thing I wanted to say is on New Year's Day, I won't be listing anything because my kids will be home and we're going to be doing family stuff. So that day I've cut out. So since today is Thursday, my goal is to have my entire death pile listed by the end of next Friday. So I'm taking a day out because I won't be listing anything on New Year's Day. But other than that, every day I'll be listing a minimum of five to 10 items. So fingers crossed, I can complete this challenge and kick 2020 off with a great bang, have a bunch of stuff listed newly in my closet and be ready to start with my goals for 2020. So uh, thanks for sticking around. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and be sure in the comments to let me know, do you have a death pile? Have you counted it lately? If so, how many items do you have to list? And now I'm going to show you the death pile. All right, y'all, here it is. This is the death pile. And I tried to group everything 
buy items and what it is. And yeah, it's a mountain on my dining room table, but I'm going to get it listed. I'm going to push myself in the next week to get all of these items listed on my Poshmark closet. And just to tell you, these things aren't just sitting in my death pile because they're not fun and items that are really great. I mean, here's some Salvatore Ferragamo shoes um, that I purchased. They're still in great condition. And then in my Goodwill Benz haul, I didn't have room to show these, but these are Sasha London. These are very, very high-end shoes. And I picked them up at a great price and they look like they were hardly worn. Um, so those need to get listed. And some of these items you've seen in haul videos, some of them, I did not haul them. Um, I've got a couple of accessories, some Ugg boots. And then I've got one men's shirt to list to Ted Baker London and a few pair of jeans. I've been pretty good on listing jeans, but I have a few and some great pants, some more pants, a lot of mod cloth from a haul that I'm going to be putting up soon. And these are all tops that are in here. Um, this is a really cool two piece outfit cachet. And it's got like a crop top and it's all 100% silk with these uh, wood style beads. And then the pants are all black silk, but then have these really cool like bottoms that have the really cool bottoms that have the beading. Very cool. So that would be great for festival season. That'll be upon us before you know it. And these are all dresses. Um, that top one over there is a romper for mod cloth, but a lot of dresses, anthropology, uh, one Lily Pulitzer. This is a Lulu's um, mod cloth, Torrid. So mix the sizes. I've got some vintage uh, silk Diane von Furstenberg uh, tops that I got, and they're all in here. And then some other tops that are really cool, anthropology romper. Peruvian connection sweater dress, another one of the mod cloth cocktail dresses. So I have, I'm sure if you've been to my closet, you know that I have a lot of these. This one is so pretty. So I need to list that. But anyway, that's my death pile. Yeah. So that's a lot of stuff. You guys, that's a hundred items. My husband is probably going to have a fit when he comes home and sees all of these clothes and shoes and accessories on our dining room table but you know what it's motivation for me and it's money in our pockets so I'm gonna leave it here and hope it motivates me to get all these items listed and into my Poshmark closet in my eBay store but I hope to come in a week from now and be able to say that I listed a hundred items in my Poshmark closet in one week I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, so it is Sunday, December 29th, and I just wanted to check in with y'all on my challenge to list my death pile. So I had set a goal for the amount of listings that I wanted to do every day, depending on when my husband was home from work, when my kids were home uh, with the holidays and all that. So the first day, December 26th, I had planned to list 10 items because my husband and my kids were home and we were cleaning up after Christmas and, you know, trying to get back into a routine. So I did list 10 items on the 26th. Then on the 27th, uh, my goal was to list 20 items because my kids were at holiday camp and my husband was back at work at the fire department, so I was all alone. So I did get those 20 items listed that day. Um, well, I got 15 and then almost 20. I, ha I just had to do the listings. I, I had done the measurements, taken the photos, all that. And so I did that the following morning, Saturday. So Saturday and Sunday, my only goal was to list five items and that's because my kids and my husband would be home all day and I knew that I would be busy with activities with them. So yesterday, Saturday, um, I did get um, the five items listed, but I also got an additional five items. So, so far I've listed 40 items. Today's Sunday, um, so we went to lunch as a family. I went and ran errands with my youngest. And so I haven't listed anything today, but I have 
uh, the five items I'm going to list all prepped, but my kids are actually going to the movies right now with their grandmother, my mom. And because of that, I had a little extra time to myself and guess where I ended up? The thrift store. <laughs> That's right, so I'm gonna go in and just take a look around, but I'm gonna really try to limit myself um, unless it's like some really special find. I'm really gonna do this as retail therapy and then you know, be very, very picky about what I get because I don't wanna add to this death pile because I'm trying to get these 100 items listed before next Friday. So, uh, so far I'm happy with my progress. I still have 60 items to list, but, um, Let's see what I add to this death pile. <laughs> yesterday you saw me in my car before I went in I was trying to be very selective I did put back maybe half the things I pulled I did still end up spending about $45 in the store I think I picked up some good pieces most of them I picked up based on brand a couple of them based on style but most of them are things I know that I'm gonna double at least maybe triple my money on so I feel like it was good and I needed a little bit of retail therapy <laughs> to kind of, you know, settle my nerves on trying to list this death pile. So I did add some items to the death pile, but I'm happy to say, so I'm about halfway through of listing the hundred items in my death pile. So that's good news because I'm on target to where I needed to be. Yesterday when I talked to you, I had 60 items left in my death pile. And even though I added a couple items, these items will all be listed by tonight. And so I'm still on target to get my 100 items listed by this Friday night. So anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to show you the things I added to the death pile that have to be listed. And then I'm going to upload this video and there will be a part two to this. So you can stay tuned and see, do I make it? And do I list all 100 items? So I did pick up one pair of shoes. I did pick up these men's Cole Haan shoes. They are the Pinch Main Classics, and they are a two-tone, so they're brown and black, and they're in excellent condition. They have the rubber bottoms, um, but yeah, just some really good men's uh, penny loafers. Okay, so this next item is something that I actually picked up based on style. The brand is Kinsey, and it's a size medium. So Kinsey is just a mall brand. I believe it's sold at like Macy's and Belk. But the reason why I bought this is it's this really pretty olive green and it's a cape. So it's sleeveless under here. And then it's just a full cape. But it also has a super cute belt and these oversized buttons. And then what's also cool about it is it's got a rounded collar on this side and a pointed collar on this side. So an asymmetrical look and just really cool. Um, so yeah, I did pick this up, like I said, based on style and not on brand. So I also picked up this basic top. It's really flowy and oversized and it's an old free people tag. It's a size medium. Um, it does have distressing here on the neckline and then the string. I don't know what this shirt's called. I'll have to try to figure it out. It doesn't have the normal free people ID number on it. So I couldn't really look it up, but so I'm still trying to find the name of it. So if you know, please leave me a comment and let me know what this top is called because I know they still make it, but it's got, it's really slouchy. And then in the back, what's really cool is it has this like butterfly back. 
where it's open and has like a crossover. These um, I picked up based on brand. These are Lafayette 148 and they're a size four. Now these are a satin pant, which satin, satin is really in right now. It's got these watercolor flowers on it. It's a cropped pant and sort of like dressy pant. It's got a side zip over here and it's in great condition. So, you know, this style isn't for everybody, but Lafayette 148 retails for a lot, but it also resells for a lot. So then I know that I'll be able to triple the money that I paid for it. These jeans, I have never sold this brand. It's called Yummy. And I was actually watching another YouTuber. I'm sure you all have heard of her, Nicole State. And she recently had donated a whole wardrobe to her um, by a lady. And she's currently listing them. But she's been showing a lot of the items. And she had showed this brand that this lady had. And I happened to go to the thrift store and found these jeans. And they're a white pair of jeans. Um, but they're in excellent condition. I don't think they were worn. And if they were worn, they were probably only worn once. They are a size 29, which is a great size. So um, I looked up the comps on these. And Nicole was right that they are a good buy. And so um, I know that I'll be able to triple my money on those. So really happy about that. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> You'll see that there were a lot of pants in this haul. Um, I just didn't find a lot of tops or sweaters. The next pair of pants is by Sundance and it's a size eight. And I forgot the name of these pants, but they're like a carpenter style. They have like the carpenter pockets on the back. These were really, really hot in the nineties. They're a really, really pretty color. And actually these are still on the Sundance website. So I don't think these were ever worn. They're brand new. And they are, I think they're $139 on the Sundance site. So, um, and they're available in all sizes. So these were a really good find. The next pants are from Elevensies, which is Anthropology. They're the Brighton. They are a US size six, which is great. These are really cute. They're like a black trouser and a pretty straight leg, maybe a slight boot on them. And they have the regular trouser pockets on the back. But what's cute about them is they have these four buttons on the side. So they have four button closure on the side. Next was another brand that I have never found at a thrift store here in Mississippi. This is a uh, current Elliott. These jeans are called the fling, which they still make. They're a mid rise and they have this like, it's called the dirty white is the name of the color. It's sort of like a, a mix between a, like a tan and a cream and these appear to have been samples, so I don't know a lot a lot about them. I'm going to have to do some research, but here's the sample tag. It's got the style number, the color, and then it's got who made the sample, their names right here, and a number. So I'm not really sure about these. They don't have a size tag in them, um, so I'll have to do a little bit of research on that too. The last find for yesterday was... A Christian Dior vintage blazer, a size 10. What I like about this jacket is it's got this sort of vest look to it. Um, it V's down in the front, has three button closure, and it's 100% wool um, and obviously has the built-in shoulder pads. I, as far as luxury brands, I seem to be a magnet for Christian Dior. I don't know what it is. I have found several Christian Dior skirt suits that I've been able to flip and um, like, for instance, I bought one for uh, $3, I think it was. It was a 90s houndstooth. And I actually sold that on eBay for $210. So I turned my $3 into $210. And then I have another Christian Dior vintage suit that's still in my closet and in my eBay store. And then now I will have this one. And Actually, a friend of mine posted on Facebook Marketplace. She has a vintage Christian Dior tuxedo jacket, and I'm going to pick that up and buy that from her. Almost forgot this one pair of jeans. They are Asos Denim uh, 32. They're white with stripes all on it and really cute. Don't look like they were ever worn or washed. The label here still has the inspection sticker on it, so I don't think these have ever been washed. But they're a super cute pair of ASOS denim 
and a straight leg and I'm super excited to see how these do on Poshmark. So that's my quick little haul. I've got to get back to work because I've got a lot of stuff to list tonight. I'll probably be up late and I have another YouTube video I'm uploading right now. So, and I want to get this video out tomorrow to you. So anyway, thanks for all the encouragement. A lot of the local girls around here from Mississippi have been encouraging me to get through this death pile. And I just want them to know, because I know they're going to watch this, that I really appreciate each and every one of them. I love the little community we're building here in South Mississippi and beyond. And um, thank you all for watching and stay tuned to part two to see if I actually complete the challenge and I'm able to list all hundred items. Still got 50 to go. Bye.